Mesdames et Messieurs, my wife and I have been looking forward to visiting Cameroon and are most grateful to you for the warm welcome we have received on our arrival. It's a great pleasure to hope it works. Thank you, sir. On a des programmes d'avance et avec une antenne, on peut avoir des programmes d'ailleurs, des programmes américains. Je ne sais pas si on a les programmes oui, oui, bien sûr. Par, par le satellite. Par le satellite, on oui, peut oui. avoir beaucoup de programmes. Oui. Mais le programme officiel, c'est un seul programme, oui. français et anglais.
Mr. Ladies and gentlemen, as, uh, as vice patron of the British Council, I do like uh, to try and visit council offices in the countries I happen to be visiting at any particular time. And by some curious coincidence, the British Council often seems to have some new premises for me to open, which is encouraging because it shows that the council's activities are expanding. On the other hand, it may be that they feel I would be offended if I didn't have something to open. <laughs> one, one of the British Council's highest priorities is teaching and promoting the use of the English language in support of Cameroon's policy of bilingualism. In this context, the Council manages an extensive program on behalf of the uh, British Overseas Development Administration, the ODA, including assistance to the Presidency English Language Centre in Yaoundé, which I've just been able to visit this afternoon and was very impressed by what was happening there. And also an in-service teacher training project which places special emphasis on the importance of English in the learning of other subjects, especially maths and science. Obviously, manpower development is a major element of the aid programme administered by the British Council through the Technical Cooperation Training Programme. In Cameroon, this programme has grown dramatically in recent years, so much so that in 1988-89, some 150 Cameroonians received awards to study in Britain for periods ranging from three months to four years. Additionally, the British Council supports a program of exchanges from its own funds and on behalf of other bodies, including the British Foreign and Commonwealth Office, to allow professionals from all walks of life, educationalists, agriculturalists, doctors and so on, access to British education and expertise in their own specialist area. The British Council Library in Yaoundé plays an important role in Cameroon's educational development by providing its membership with access to a wide range of facilities, including, I am told, uh, a book stock of nearly 10,000 volumes. I wonder if they have a copy of my book among them. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> the British Council also assists many libraries and educational establishments with donations of books and other materials, such as the 7,000 GCE textbooks presented to the Ministry of National Education in July last year. I'm reliably informed that when funds become available, which is always the crucial question, the British Council plans an expansion of activity in the two priority areas of library development and English language teaching, thus enhancing the potential contribution to national educational development and the policy of bilingualism. January 1990 marked the 20th anniversary of the British Council in Cameroon. It is therefore, I think, a doubly happy occasion that we can celebrate 20 years of fruitful activity and do so in this splendid new centre. In formally declaring these uh, offices and library open, I wish the representative, Mr. Harley Brooks, and his staff every possible success for the future development of mutually beneficial collaboration between Britain and Cameroon. It's been a great pleasure to hope it works. Thank you. Thank you. It's got my name right there. Thank you so much. Be able to unlock everybody. <laughs> 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 but are you, are you all, uh, are you all involved with the British Council? Where I've been, you've been 
Well, I have been visiting the British County offices in Britain. Uh, in, yes, we've developed a special program for training Cameroonians in Africa. Really, and I would take first step back. And that's still going on? Yes, yeah, still going on. Until where well, they've uh, just told me that they are going to put a stop to it. They're running out of money. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but have the, has the, have the results been worthwhile? Very well. Very the ones worthwhile. who've come back. Yes, yes. We have about 150 of them who have been trained to do Because the agricultural development is very important. But you can feed yourselves only to these. <laughs> and exporting. Yes, that's what we hope to do. I think we are never. <laughs> And while going, it's going to get silly. And what? Yeah. You're going to get very silly in a minute.
Alors, on écrit la phrase, on finit la phrase. Maman achète encore de l'huile et une grosse papaye. Mais pas le bien. Encore. De l'huile. 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 Grosse. 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 Maintenant, maintenant, on souligne les verbes. Tous les verbes. Malheureusement. Okay, that's it. Vos Altesses, permettez-moi de vous souhaiter une très chaleureuse bienvenue au Cameroun. Nous sommes tous très heureux et très honorés de recevoir pour la première fois l'héritier de la culturelle et linguistique cimente nos relations. L'anglais, vous le savez, est l'une de nos deux langues officielles. Et le bilinguisme au Cameroun est considéré comme un facteur d'intégration nationale et... Un excellent souvenir de l'accueil chaleureux de Sa Majesté la Reine d'Angleterre. Je vous prie, Altesse, chez nous aujourd'hui, vous permettra, je l'espère, malgré ça. Mesdames et Messieurs, puis-je maintenant vous inviter à lever vos verres en l'honneur de Sa Majesté la Reine d'Angleterre, à la santé de leurs Altesses royales ici présentes, 
à l'amitié et à la coopération entre la Grande-Bretagne et le Cameroun. Monsieur le Président et Madame Bia, Mesdames et Messieurs, my wife and I have been looking forward to visiting Cameroon and are most grateful to you for the warm welcome we have received on our arrival. I have come to the conclusion that the best way of arriving here is most certainly by sea. It is not difficult to see that you have a delightful country full of interest, full of variety, rich in culture, rich in talent. It may be commonplace to say that Cameroon is a country well endowed with natural resources, but how striking it is that the quality of the Cameroonian people is the greatest of these assets. Cameroon holds its place in the affections of the British people because of historical ties which have been kept in good repair over the years. People in Britain remember with great pleasure the visit which you, Monsieur le Président and Madame Bia, made to our country in 1985. Sadly, we were unable to meet you on that occasion, but recalling that visit, Her Majesty the Queen has asked me to convey to you and to the Cameroon people, her sincere good wishes. Our presence here will, I hope, reaffirm the closeness of our relations and of the high regard in which Cameroon is held. In the two days we are here, there is clearly a great deal to see in a very short space of time. I shall be most interested to see something of the Corrup Forest on Friday. And I know that it is not an easy task to be responsible for the continuing stewardship of such a priceless natural heritage. The eyes of the world are increasingly upon Cameroon. But of course the burden cannot lie on Cameroon alone. I know that Her Majesty's government have shown themselves keen to help in whatever way they can. Monsieur le Président, thank you for your most kind welcome here. And I now ask all of you to rise and join me in a toast to Anglo-Cameroon relations and to the President of the Republic of Cameroon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.